Hi, it's Angara. Jennifer Lovebug has been going through this great little series where she talks about what lip uh, products she has in certain shades. And I really like that idea, so I asked her if I could steal it. And she said, yeah, of course. So I'm going to do the same video kind of series. I think I'm going to do pink and red because they are actually probably the colors that I have the least of. This is old. I don't know the status of the Yes 2 products anymore, but I got this a long time ago when they were definitely still cruelty free. And if anybody knows what the status is currently, could you leave that down below because I would really like to know. It's called Rosy Bloom and it, it is a pinkish. And you'll notice that most of my pinks are not bright and they're kind of more on the nude side. Now this color I really don't like. I just... I'm not sure what occasion I would actually wear this. It didn't uh, look like the swatch that I saw when I bought it. This is Sweet Pea and Fay, but the name of the color is called Beluga. And I just feel like it's this Pepto Bismol pink. This is Pacifica Pink Coral. Now, I really like this one probably because it's not straight pink. It has some coral, so a little bit of peach color to it and it's kind of sheer so it's not like a bam in your face like fuchsia pink which you will never ever see me wear because it's just horribly unflattering on my skin tone or just on me I just really don't I don't that's not my taste at, at all this is my favorite color from the all natural face it's called crazy coral I think it looks like a lot more of a pink than a coral but it's a really nice wearable pink it's like frosty if you're going to get one color from the All Natural Face and you like pinks or corals at all, I, this is the one I recommend. I, it's absolutely my favorite. I think it has the best the best wear. Um, some, of the, some of the formula of the other ones, it may all be the same formula, I don't know, but some of the other ones just didn't wear very well. They were too dry. Or, but this one's really great. It's very creamy. It wears really well, and I really love it. This is a really neutral light pink, which is probably why I like it. I like neutral pinks with a little bit of brown in them. This is Musk from Bite Beauty. One side of this is Musk and the other side is Lychee. As you can see, it's just like a really nice neutral pink. I like it. It's one that I definitely like. This pink is called Romantic Rose from Lily Lolo. And it does have a little bit of rose in it, which I guess is how I can get away with it because there's a lot, quite a bit of pink in it. It's probably not something I would normally choose on my own. I got this in my swap with Rachel All Natural Aspirations, but I actually quite like it. And I do wear it. I would never think that I'd be able to get away with a color like this, but I, I like it. It makes me feel very English, very British. Should we go have tea in the garden? And the last pink is Clandestine by Silk Naturals, and it's uh, I've had it for a while, so all of the writing has rubbed off. And I think it's more of a pink than a coral, and I love it. This is one of my absolute favorite pinky coral colors. Moving on to the reds, this is Clay from Clean Cauldron. I love this red because it has a lot of brown in it, and that's my thing. I like colors with a lot of brown in them. I think it's a beautiful burnt orange kind of a red. I just think it's a really great color and is very opaque and it's very moisturizing and glossy. Really, really nice color. Okay, this is Strawberry Lips from Red Apple Lipstick and you will have seen this if you saw my Red Apple Lipstick review video. This is also a very nice muted red. It has a lot of brown in it. As you can see, it's not very dark. It almost looks like a balm. You don't have to worry about making sure that all the edges are perfect like you kind of do on a normal red, like a bright red. No, this one doesn't have that and it's... This red, you might also classify as a plum, but I think it's classified... I would put it in the red category. I would just say it's a red with a lot of, I don't know, I guess blue and brown in it. It, it has a very plum tone to it. And this is Team Buffy and this is from Shiro, but they don't make these anymore. I think they were just called inner tubes. And uh, this is what it looks like. But sometimes it has like a reddish tinge to it. So the next red is from Silk Naturals. It's one of their vegan lipsticks. It's called Card Shark. Uh, I just recently purchased this. I think this red is gorgeous. That's really all I have to say about it. I recommend it highly. 
It kind of reminds me of like old school, vampy, glamorous red. One that I would wear anyway. So now I have a couple of balms. This is a Badger Balm, and this color is called Red Jasper. And it's kind of an, a red with a lot of orange in it. I really like it. It's shimmery. I just think it's super pretty. It's, it has a really nice balm consistency and this great color along with it. So a win-win. Badger Balm. Red Jasper. Now this is a vegan lip balm from the All Natural Face and it's called Garnet. And I've had it a really long time. It's kind of like a newly discovered something within my collection. And I think it's just a gorgeous color. It's actually quite a lot like Red Jasper. It's just a bit darker, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. It has a nice texture. It wears a pretty long amount of time. I think it's great. I highly recommend it if you like reds with orange in them. Okay, so this is probably the brightest, most red red that I have. This is the Fergie collection from Wet n Wild. This, uh, this color is called Saragina, which is named after the character that she played in, in the movie Musical 9. And then I've lined my lips with the uh, Perfect Red Too Faced Perfect Lips. It's so hard to get it perfect. And the very last color in this series of pink and red, which is a red, it's just called True Red and it's Sonia Kashuk. It's a liner. So of course it's matte. It's a nice color. I feel like it's, it's a little brighter than I typically go for. And I think it's, it's pretty good quality. I mean, I really like some... So this is the last one, True Red by Sonia Kashuk. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a peaceful day, and I'll see you next time.